Hello everyone and welcome to Youth Sports on RTC TV. I'm Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick with me here and we're covering some youth baseball. We have the Fulton Falcons against the Rochester Mariners here. And that first ball is a pit is or the first pitch is a ball there. And it looks like a bunt towards third base, and Navarro throws it to first, and we've got a missed catch by the first baseman, so the uh, runner was able to get on by an error. So good start for the Falcons here. Now it's Calrian with the uh, getting on base there. <clears throat> Up now is Talon. Taking the first pitch as a strike. And we were talking with one of the gentlemen here before the game um, from the Fulton area saying that this team is currently 11 and 0. And they look to continue that undefeated record here tonight. Talon still up with an 0-2 count. Pitch high and inside, and Calrian was able to steal second and then push to third and possibly score. It looks like he's gonna get the first run of the game there. So the Fulton Falcons take an early lead of one to zero. Looks like the coach is going to call a timeout here. Calm his team down. Coming up next is Joey from the Fulton Falcons team. <coughs> It's a nice day for baseball today, right, Libby? Yeah, it's sunny and blue skies. No wind. Good weather for baseball, or any sport for that matter, right? You're Unless you're trying to ice skate, I don't think that would work out very well. No, I don't think that would work. <laughs> Joey takes a cut for a foul ball. And a nice pitch by Navarro for a th watch third strike there getting the first out of the inning. <clears throat> so one out and uh, one run for the Falcons this inning. And up to bat is Cade. Watching the first pitch go by, it's a strike. Good cut by Cade there goes foul and he now has an 0-2 count. Navarro in a good position here to work that plate. And Cade gets a really nice line drive to left field. Ends up with a double. Great hit on an 0-2 count. Up to bat now for the Fulton Falcons is Bailey. With a runner in scoring position on second base. 
got a little pop-up to second base and he's able to make that catch for the second out. Runner in second stays. Which brings up the next batter, Rowan. And we got a high inside pitch. Rowan able to duck that one and his teammate able to steal third on the pass ball. So another runner potentially in scoring position here able, depending on what Rowan can do at the plate. With an 1-0 count. Another inside pitch. Runner on third looks tempted but I think he's going to stay. Two count with two outs here. <clears throat> Ball high. Three o count. You probably won't see the hitter swing on this one. Good pitch by Navarro hitting the outside corner. Gets the first strike on Rowan. And another high inside pitch. Rowan will walk. So runners on first and third, which brings up AJ to bat. David on deck. AJ looking to bring a run in here. And common play here, have uh, first run on first base, still second, trying to bait a throw in order to allow the third baseman to steal home for a run, but uh, the Mariners do not bite. Ball inside. <clears throat> now a 2 0 count for AJ. Runners on second, third. And another ball by, by Navarro. Ooh, AJ is hit by a pitch in the elbow there, so he will take first base on a dead ball. Loading the bases here for uh, David. And Landon will be on deck now. Coach is checking up on David, making sure he's okay. He seems to be okay. Base is loaded with Landon up to bat here. Or excuse me, that's David up to bat. And a pass ball. No runners advance. We got a one two count. Looks 
like we're having some equipment issues with the catcher's mask here. Looks like they may need to possibly replace this catcher's mask. While we wait, I'll uh, <clears throat> go through the lineup for the Fulton Falcons. Their leadoff hitter, Calrian, on deck, or second, would be Talon. In the third spot, you've got Joey. Cleanup hitter is Cade. Fifth is Bailey. Sixth hitter, Rowan. Seventh, AJ. Eighth, David. Ninth, Landon. And I believe they may go through the entire lineup in this league for hitting. So, uh, the tenth hitter would be Alex, and that is followed by Colby to finish up their lineup. So, back in play here, looks like David was able to put it in play towards the first base and gets thrown out for the third out of the inning. So, looks like the Fulton Falcons were able to put a run on the board after getting some good hits and some errors by the Mariners. Uh, this is Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick. You're watching RTC TV. Welcome back to RTC TV. We are here with uh, youth baseball. Fulton Falcons versus the Rochester Mariners. M Rochester Mariner Mariners up to bat here. Watching the first pitch go by a strike. And a swing. Good cut, but he wasn't able to get any contact on that. <clears throat> this is it. Ellinger up to bat with Bowers on deck. A ball low in the dirt. So Ellinger now has a one and two count. I believe that is a dead ball, yeah. Ellinger takes a hit to the foot on the pitch and was is able to take first base. Exactly what leadoff hitters are for, getting on base. Now up to bat Bowers with Hunting on deck. First pitch, ball low. And Bowers makes contacts, hits the grounder straight to the pitcher, and they aren't able to make the catch a second for the force. So Bowers is able to get on base and advance Ellinger to second. A great start for the Mariners here. Hunting comes up with runners on first and second, and then Navarro hitting in the fourth position on deck. First pitch, ball inside, I believe.
And hunting hits a foul ball towards the visitor dugout, giving himself an 0-2 count. He's going to have to defend the plate here. Good eye by hunting. Another ball down low in the dirt. I believe that makes it. Oh, it's 3 1. 3 1 count for hunting here. And he makes solid contact straight towards the shortstop. And it looks like he's going to get a, an RBI on that, on that hit. As well as advanced. Bowers to third base and able to take himself to second. Good hip there by uh, Hunting. So the Mariner is able to put a run on the board here in the first inning. I think they're checking on that shortstop to make sure he's okay. That was a pretty hard hit straight at him. Looked like it might have caught his cheek or his neck. And it looks like they were able to make sure he's okay, so they will continue play. <clears throat> where Navarro will uh, walk up to the plate here in the cleanup position. In good position to get an RBI, there are uh, runners on second and third with zero outs, so. Navarro watches the first pitch, it's a low ball, and uh, Medina is on deck here with Smith in the hole. Another low pitch. Gives Navarro a 2 0 count. Low pitch once again, which uh, it's a smart smart pitch by uh, the pitcher here. You don't want to put it up in, in Navarro's roundhouse because she, she will smack that ball if you put it in her place. And there she does, but it lands, it lands fair. And she's able to get a double, RBI double. Good hit by Navarro. And the Mariners are able to take a 3-1 lead here in the first. Looks like a coach is going to take a <clears throat> timeout. Gather his team up, cool him down. Still zero outs here in the inning.
Medina will be hitting next with Smith on deck and Jay Kelly in the hole. Medina watches the first pitch go by. It's a strike. He's got Navarro on second base in scoring position. And the ball low. Makes a count one and one. And a good pitch there for a swing and a strike. And that one just outside, able to keep off of it. Makes the count two and two. And Medina strikes out for the first out of the inning. And that brings up Smith with Jay Kelly on deck and Strasser in the hole. Pitcher dialing in here. He's Throwing some strikes now. Gets a good good pitch for the first first pitch on uh, Smith. And Navarro steals third on a pass ball. <laughs> Puts her in better scoring position. And we've got a couple <clears throat> balls in the dirt to bring the count to 3 1. A good pitch by the pitcher here, able to bring it to a full count. One out. And he finishes up with a, a nice strike right down the middle to strike out Smith, bringing up Jay Kelly. That's, that's two, two strikeouts there for uh, the Falcons pitcher. And he's dialed in and he's got an 0 1 count here on Jay Kelly. Another, another pitch and another strike. We got an 0 2 count with the runner on third. Two outs. And he throws another strike to close out the inning with three strikeouts in a row. Um, the Mariners were able to put three on the board here heading into the second inning. Again, the Falcons will take take their bats and uh, get ready for their second, second inning. You are watching Youth Sports on RTC TV. Ow. 
Hello and welcome back to RTC TV Sports. We're here filming youth baseball. And the Fulton Falcons are up to bat again. Here at the top of the second, David is leading off. Followed by Landon and Alex. Navarro gets ahead early with an 0-2 count. David will need to protect the plate here. And he takes a cut and we have a strikeout. Um, first out of the second inning here. Good job by Navarro. Bringing up Landon with Alex on deck. Landon squares up to bunt and he lays one down. Very good, great bunt there by, by Landon. Not much you can do about that. That's a very solid bunt right down the third baseline. I believe this is either Alex or Karan. I can't. I don't know if they bat through their entire team or just who's on the field. Landon is able to steal second base on the pass ball. Better with a 2 1 count. And a missed ball opportunity there. Takes another strike for to make it 2-2. Two -two. And a good hit there, but he's able the first baseman is able to scoop that up and make the force out at first for the second out of the inning. Landon was able to advance to third base. And another bunt. Lays it down and able to outrun the play. Another great bunt. And that was Colby on the bunt. Now Calorine is up to bat, leadoff hitter. And Colby able to steal second. So runners on second and third. Two in scoring position for Calorine, which with two outs here. And he makes contact and hits it straight to the shortstop. Shortstop hits it, throws it to first, but it is outran by Calorine. And he is able to bring another run in for the Fulton Falcons. Making the score three to two in the Mariners' favor. Good hit by Calorie in there. Bring up Talon and Joey on deck. And a small pop-up. 
I'm gonna go foul. Good hustle by the short the uh, catcher there. I believe that's a Bowers boy. Another pop fly that's gonna go foul again. <clears throat> I thought that was going to hit us. <laughs> it, it was pretty close. We had that ball bounce maybe 15 feet away from us. So. <laughs> so Talon is, is on it. Just got to straighten that swing out and put it in play. Which he does not do so. Uh, swing and a miss for the third strike in the third out in the top of the second inning. Uh, the Fulton Falcons were able to put a run on the board, making the score three to two. And we'll see what the Mariners can do here in the bottom of the second. Uh, this is Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick on RTC TV. Hello and welcome back. We are in the bottom of the second inning. As the Mariners see what they can do offensively, Got a swing and a miss on the first pitch here. Another strike thrown. O2 count here for the batter. And another strike for the first out. And the Falcons pitcher throwing some heat here. Yeah, I think this is Rhea up to bat. Five straight strikes thrown for the Falcons pitcher. <clears throat> and Rhea chases that one low for strike three. Bringing up Another Kelly boy. Two outs already here in the second. Another strike thrown. And Kelly m misses the uh, third strike on the swing and, and is able to run to first base. That's a rule that they have in this league where if uh, there's a dropped third strike, the batter is able to still run to first on the strikeout. And Kelly is able to get to first base on that. So now back at the top of the lineup, Ellinger. A 1-0 count here on Ellinger. Two outs, run on first.
couple good pitches there by the Falcons pitcher. Brings the count to one and two. Ellinger in position to protect the plate here. Got to swing at anything close. Yeah, and that one was high enough that he's able to lay off. Good eye by Ellinger. Makes count 2-2. Two, two. And a good pitch again for the third strike on Ellinger. It's three outs. And the Falcons were able to hold the Mariners to no score in the second. So we remain at three to two. And the Falcons will see what they can do in the third. You're watching RTC TV. Welcome back to RTC TV. We are filming youth baseball here right next to Manitou Mountain. We've got the Fulton Falcons taking on the Rochester Mariners. Scores three to two in the Mariners' favor as they prepare to play defense here in the top of the third inning. Nice solid shot down third baseline by number six on the Falcons, but it rolls foul. Another solid hit right at the third baseman, and the throw and, and the catch. Good play by the Mariners there. So you got one out here. And I believe this is Cade up to bat, hitting in the cleanup position. No runners on. And a good shot by Cade. Out to right field. I think they lost it in the sun. That sun's got to be pretty bright there in right field. So he's able to get a double off of that hit. That brings up Bailey to bat. <clears throat> With a nice line drive shot straight to right. And that's gonna bring in a run. Ooh, close play there at second base. Could have gone either way. But uh, Bailey able to bring in a run on that double to right field. Tying the game up at three to three. That's going to bring out, bring up Rowan with AJ on deck. And they called a foul there. Nice bunt by uh, Rowan. Another bunt attempt, and it rolls foul towards third base. So that's gonna give him an 0-2 count. Very good bunting team for this, uh, this age group. And there's a fly ball straight at us. <laughs> wow. 
And that was pretty close. <laughs> Still an 0-2 count here for Rowan. And uh, he chased one high there for the third strike and the second out of the inning. Bringing up AJ. Still runner on second base. And good pitch by Navarro there. Getting ahead in the count with an 0 1. Another good pitch there. Rowan watches that one for a second strike. And third strike pitch there. Good job by Navarro. Falcons able to put another run on the board to tie the game to bring up the bottom of the third inning. You're watching Youth Sports on RTC TV. Welcome back to Youth Baseball on RTC TV. I'm Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick here and we are in the bottom of the third inning. The Mariners look to take the lead in this game. It's three to three. And it looks like good connection by Bowers to the second baseman, but he gets thrown out at first on the play. And that brings up Hunting, who had a double RBI on his first at bat. So we'll see what he can do on this. This one here. Makes contact to the second baseman again. And he fumbles it. So Hunting able to get on first base by an error. E4. Navarro now up to bat with one out. <clears throat> and there's a ball low, it's a pass ball and Hunting able to steal second. Another ball low. Catcher able to make the stops to prevent another steal. And there's a pass ball. Hunting is able to take third. Good aware base running by Hunting there. Navarro with a 3-0 count. Probably going to wait until she gets a strike before she takes a swing at anything. Medina on deck. And a ball inside. So Navarro will walk to first. And that will bring Medina up with Smith on deck. Yeah, Navarro will take second. As I mentioned earlier, they uh, <clears throat> they like to take second with a runner on third to try to bait bait the throw and take the take home base. You're gonna ball outside there. So 
So a 2 0 count here on Medina. He can be very selective here. And the Falcons are able to attempt to throw out the runner at first. And I don't believe they caught it. And the third base runner is able to steal home. That's uh, hunting. Able to get a run. So the Mariners will take the lead here four to three here in the bottom of the third inning still runners on second and third with two up with a one out sorry now Smith up to bat with Jay Kelly on deck Good cut by Smith there. Fouls it off. And Smith strikes out for the second out of the third. So that will bring up Jay Kelly who looks to bring a run in. Still runners on second and third with two outs. And he watches the first strike go by. Another good pitch by Fulton Falcons. Makes a count, 0-2. And Kelly will need to protect the play here. Can't be too picky about his pitch. Try to put something in play. And he tries, but it's another strikeout there for the third out of the third inning. And that puts the Mariners down after they're able to put another run on the board and take the lead four to three. So we'll head to the top of the fourth here as the Fulton Falcons get their bats ready. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Welcome back to Youth Baseball on RTC TV. We are watching the Rochester Mariners against the Fulton Falcons, we are in the top of the fourth. And an early 1-1 one, one count. And a wild pitch by Navarro makes it 2-1. <clears throat> and a swing and a miss for 2-2 two -two count. Good pitch by Navarro to get a K for the first out of the fourth. And 
and we've got square up to butt. He doesn't pull it back in time, so he gets called for a strike. And we have contact straight to Navarro, who makes the throw to first, getting the second out of the inning. And that's going to bring up uh, Alex, who bunts it back to Navarro, and Navarro makes the play. So three up, three down, quick inning for the Mariners, able to hold the Falcons off to no score here in the fourth. So we'll see what the Mariners will do offensively here. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Okay, welcome back to Youth Sports on RTC TV. We're watching Youth Baseball. The Rochester Mariners against the Fulton Falcons. The Mariners up to bat here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As they hold this lead and try to maintain this lead, four to three. Try to marinate in it. That's right. <laughs> marinate in that lead. Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick here today. And a 1-2 count here for the Mariners. Good job by Falcons pitcher getting ahead. Is Kalarin on the mound? And Strasser watches the third strike there for the first out, bringing up Rhea with Kelly on deck. Raya takes uh, a first pitch ball. And a nice solid hit to second base, but a good play by Falcon's second baseman there. Shaking his hand, that must have been a pretty hard hit. Good job by both teams on that play. And that'll bring up Kelly with Ellinger on deck. Cal dialing in here, throwing strikes, staying consistent. Two outs already here in the fourth. And two strikes on Kelly. Good job working ahead. So Kelly will need to be protective here. And he swings and misses for the third strike. And the third out of the fourth inning. Falcons are able to Go three up, three down on the Mariners and hold them to zero runs in the fourth. So the score remains four to three in the Mariners' favor. So we'll head to the fifth inning and see what happens as the Falcons grab their bats. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Youth Baseball on RTC TV. We are watching the Rochester Mariners 
against the Fulton Falcons. Both very, very competitive teams here tonight. We've got a score of four to three. Mariners up in the top of the fifth inning. And I believe this is Colby up to bat with Cal on deck. And we've got a pitching change. I believe he was previously playing shortstop. And Navarro now playing first. And a strike out there for the first out brings up Cal. And looks like a pop-up fly ball to first base and Navarro is able to make the catch for the second out. Very quick, two outs here in the fifth inning. Good defense by the Mariners. So coming up to bat now is Talon. And an early 2-0 count. Allows Talon to be a little bit more selective with these pitches. And a swing and a miss there for strike one. So we have two balls, one strike. No runners on with two outs. And a good pitch on the outside corner there to make it 2-2. Two -two. And plenty of chatter here by the Mariners D. as we go to a full count. And a swing and a miss for out number three. So the Mariners will go three up, three down, just as the Falcons did previously, holding the Falcons to three runs as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. This could possibly be the Mariners' last at back here coming up. So we'll see what they do and see if they can put any more runs on the board to secure their lead. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Okay, we're here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Mariners are ready for offense. And I think we're at the top of the order with Ellinger up to bat. With Bowers on deck. First pitch strike here. And good contact by Ellinger, but the first baseman able to make the play on the four side of first. For the first out, bring up Bowers with Hunting on deck. <clears throat> a 
In an attempted bunt by Bowers. For strike number one. Mariner still up four to three. Here in the bottom of the fifth. And strike number two. Good job by uh, Falcons pitcher Cal getting ahead in the count. See how Bowers can protect the plate here. And there's a ball outside to make it a 1 2 count. Another ball high. Good eye by Bowers, 2-2 two, two count. With one out, no runners on. Real close pitch there. I think that was a little low or inside. <clears throat> so we have a full count here. And Bowers makes contact to second base. Good defense by the Falcons. Also good job by Bowers making contact with that. As the Falcons get their second out of the inning and look to close out and get back to the offensive side. Uh, hunting up to bat with Navarro on deck. And a pitch, ball outside. Ooh, nice, nice shot there by Hunting. Hits the fence. And he's able to get a stand-up double on that one. Nice smack by Hunting. Probably the best hit of the game so far. Hunting with a couple of great great hits this game. His first at bat with the, the double RBI double. So he continues his success at bat. That brings up Navarro with two outs, runner on second, with Medina on deck. Although Mariners do lead by one, it would be very, very good if they could get that runner on second to score, just securing their lead by another run. And there's a called strike on Navarro to make the count one and one. And another called strike to make it one and two. Go, Cal. And Cal throws the next pitch. Able to make the play at first. Good play at first by Cal for the third out of the inning. So the Falcons down by one run here going into the top of the sixth inning. This is their last opportunity to either tie or take the lead in this game. 11-0 uh, series, or 11-0 record on the line here. So we'll see what the Falcons can do in this pressure situation. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Okay, welcome back to Youth Baseball on RTC TV. I'm Chris Messersmith with Libby Widgick here. And we're at in the top of the sixth inning where the Falcons look to tie or take the lead here in their potentially last at bat, depending on whether or not they score. First pitch ball. 
for Joey, I believe. This is Joey up to bat. With Kate on deck. And Bailey in the hole. And Joey makes contact right up the middle. And a base hit. Good job by Joey on the Fulton Falcons here. So Joey would be the tying run for this game to progress it to the bottom of the sixth inning. And Cade up to bat now. With Bailey on deck. And there's a pass ball allowing Joey to steal second, putting him in scoring position. Still no outs, so Mariners will need to play some solid defense here if they want to end this game. And solid contact there, another another good hit. Looks like they're gonna score that run to tie the game. So a couple of clutch hits by Joey and Cade there to tie the game up without a problem. Still no outs. And a strike there thrown by a Mariners pitcher. And a foul ball on the bunt to make it an 0-2 count. Still a runner remains on second base. That's Cade on second base looking for possibly the winning run. Although uh, this game is automatically going to advance to the bottom of the six where the Mariners will have an opportunity to score. And there's a strikeout for the first out. And a bunt is laid down, a very, very good bunt. Wow. Very solid bunt there by Bailey. Or excuse me, that's Rowan there on the, on the bunt. And AJ up to bat now with runners on first and third. The leading run on third base right now. And Rowan able to steal second to put both of them in scoring position. AJ in a good opportunity for an RBI here to give them the lead. With an 0-1 count with one out. And a ball low. Even the count at 1-1. One, one. You may see a bunt here. Defense will have to make a decision whether to go for the out or allow the run. No force outs other than first base. And there's the bunt. And it gets laid to the f third baseline and he gets on. Like I was saying, they, would, they were gonna have to make a decision whether they wanted to go for that out and let the score run or just hold that runner on third base and they decided to hold him on. So base is loaded now.
and uh, David will look to bring in an RBI. And a strike for the first pitch. <clears throat> Bolo got a one and one count. The base is loaded here for the Falcons, and he pulls back, but the pitch is in 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 the box, so he is uh, called for a strike there for a one one and two count. And a swing for a third strike. Good aggressive swing by, there by David. So two outs here. And the coach going to have a little word with the hitter. Very important situation here. Not the, not the time that you'd want to leave the base is loaded, very critical situation. So we'll see what Landon can do here in the top of the sixth. And a nice cut, but he does not make contact with that one. So we've got an 0-1 count. Good pitch by Mariner's pitcher here. Another good pitch by by number 12 here, and that's going to make an 0-2 count with two outs, bases loaded. And strike number three, so that's going to put the Falcons down, but they were successful in getting putting another run up on the board. If they were not able to get that run up, the game would be over right now. So this gives them an opportunity to play defense and possibly put it into extra innings. So we'll see what kind of defense they can play on this Mariner offense here in the bottom of the sixth and see if we may go into extra innings. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Okay, bye. Okay, welcome to the bottom of the sixth inning of Rochester Mariners versus the Fulton Falcons. We have a tie ball game at four. And the Mariners, as the home team, will have an opportunity to win the game here if they score. Otherwise, it will go into extra innings. And I believe Medina is up to bat right now with a one and one count. Great team, or great, uh, <clears throat> great contest between both of these teams. You can tell they are both very competitive and well coached. As the third baseman is able to make a play to get the first out on Medina. So that's one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning to bring up Smith with Jay Kelly on deck. Nice crowd here out, out here today. It's a beautiful day for baseball or any sport besides ice hockey. Ice skating. I changed it. Oh. Well, Ooh. I guess ice hockey probably wouldn't be good either. No. So Smith takes, takes the hit there, the dead ball. And he is uh, playing catcher this game. So that puts a runner on first with one out. And Jay Kelly will be up to bat now with Strasser on deck. So 
And I don't know what the time limit is for these games, but it has been an hour and 49, I believe, so this may be the end of the game. Either way, they may end it with a tie. But we will see what happens here in the bottom of the sixth inning as the Mariners get their bats ready. There's one out with a runner on first, and Jay Kelly up to bat. And a nice cut by Kelly there for a strike. And another strike, watch strike there, I think, on the outside corner <clears throat> to make it an 0-2 count. And Cal doing a great job pitching. He has pitched this whole game. And he gets a K there on Kelly for the second out. So that's going to bring up Strasser with Ryle on deck. Two outs for the Mariners with a, a runner on first base. Chance is not looking good for a, a score here. And it looks like they will do a substitute runner for Smith here. Not sure who that is that took his place, but there is a substitute runner on first base for the Mariners now. And Strasser with an 0-1 count. And the ball low. Makes it a 1-1 count. <clears throat> Two outs. And a watch second strike. So Strasser will need to protect the play here. in order to stay alive. And he swings and misses for the third out. And that's the end of the sixth inning. And you see Phil Bowers congratulating Cal on his great performance here tonight. And it looks like we will be going into the seventh inning here due to a tie ball game. So we'll take a short break here as the Falcons get ready to hit. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Welcome back to RTC TV. We're watching Youth Baseball. Very tough contest here between the Fulton Falcons and the Rochester Mariners. We have a tie ball game in extra innings. We're in the seventh inning now as both teams battle to get a win. And I know the Falcons are battling hard because uh, an 11-0 record was mentioned earlier. So I'm sure they want to keep that undefeated season alive here tonight. So we've got an 0-2 count, and I believe this is Alex up to bat. And a strike three, watch third strike for the first out of the seventh. 
And the Falcons will look to get this point up on the board and give them a lead. And this is Colby up to bat now. And Cal on deck, with, who is uh, the top of the order. Colby takes a swing and a first strike there. And goes for the bunt, <clears throat> but fouls it off <laughs> for an 0-2 count. Good job by Mariners pitcher getting ahead in the count here in this crucial moment. Good pitch outside. It's always uh, safe to throw a ball with an 0-2 count. You might get the batter chasing it. And another good pitch there for another strikeout. So that makes two outs here in the seventh inning. And that brings up Cal at the top of the order. And Cal makes contact up the middle, and it gets through. And the Mariner outfield able to get the ball into second base before Cal can reach, reach second base, and that keeps him out of scoring position. So it's a good job by the Mariners getting that ball in as fast as they can, and that's gonna bring up Talon with two outs. And a strike for the first pitch. They decide to throw it down, and it, it looks like it hit Cal right in the back there. Umpire's gonna check on him, make sure he's okay. He seems to be fine. Pretty quick kid there. Ball thrown, that's a one and one count now. You can see Cal really wanting to steal that third base. And there's a pass ball, so Cal is able to steal third, putting him in good, posi good, good position for scoring. And Talon's with a two one count. Basically, any hit to the outfield scores Cal. So we'll see what Talon can do here. And there's another pass ball. It looks like Cal's gonna go for the steal at home and they call him safe. Call him safe at home. So he, the the Falcons take the lead, five to four, on a steal at home. Very close play. Could have been called either way, but a good good steal by Cal there. <clears throat> so Talon's still up to bat here with a three-one count, two outs. Now up five to four. And we've got a dead ball. It looks like uh, Talon just took a hit. And looks like there may be an injury here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a break. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. So after the dead ball, it looks to be, seem uh, Talon is okay. Got up and ran to first base. After that hit, it looked like he may have got hit in the head. 
but he toughed it out. He seems to be okay, so we will continue play. And uh, Joey will be up to bat now with Kate on deck. And a good pitch strike up the middle. Falcons took the lead in this inning. It's now five to four. Falcons favor with two outs. And a good cut there by Joey. Does not connect, so he's got an 0-2 count now. <clears throat> And a nice solid shot by Joey there and an awesome catch by the center fielder on the Mariners. Excellent catch there. So the Falcons were able to score a run to give them the lead here in inning number seven. So the Mariners are going to have to get their bats ready and score a run. If not, the Falcons will take this win and improve to 12-0. So we'll see what the Mariners can do here in the bottom of the seventh. You're watching Youth Baseball on RTC TV. Welcome to Youth Baseball on RTC TV. We are <coughs> watching the Fulton Falcons versus the Rochester Mariners. We are in extra innings here. And just in the top of the seventh, the Falcons took the lead five to four. So the Mariners are now in a position to either score or take the loss. So we'll see how well they can get their bats going here in their last at bat, potentially last at bat. We've got Raya up to bat right now with Q Kelly on deck. And a 2-2 count on Raya. Now I was just informed shortly or not too long ago that these two teams are very very closely matched the Fulton Falcons with an 11 and 0 record and the Mariners have only lost one game this season and it was to the Fulton Falcons so 11 and 0 record and a 12 and 1 record very good competition here Raya takes a strike out for the first out of the inning bring up Q Kelly And the pitcher falls behind here in the count. It's 2-0. And the Mariners must get a run up here in this inning. Otherwise, they will take their second loss. A 2-1 count here for Kelly. Makes contact with that one. make the count two and two. Nice contact there by Kelly, but is a line shot straight to the first baseman. He makes the play for the second out of the inning. One more out and the Falcons will seal this victory and improved to 12 and 0. And this is Ellinger up to bat, top of the order. And he fouls that off to make the count one and one. It's good to be aggressive in this, this time of the game. Very important time to get these bats going. We'll see a, maybe a two out rally here by the Mariners, right Libby? Yes. <laughs> and another foul ball by Ellinger, showing a little frustration there. 
Really wanted to put that ball into play. He's determined. A one-two count here. And there's a drop third strike. We'll see if he can make it to first. And they make the play. So that's going to make the end of the game here as both teams line up to shake hands. Very, very competitive contest here by both teams and well played by both teams. But the uh, Fulton Falcons were able to come out with the win, scoring the leading run in the sixth or the, the seventh inning to take this win and improve to 12 and 0. And the Mariners will um, be 12 and 2. So good job by both teams here tonight. And make sure you guys come out and watch youth baseball or support the all-star teams this year. As the Falcons <clears throat> take this win five to four against the Rochester Mariners. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Youth Baseball on RTC TV.